Don't overreact, Greg. Don't overreact, Greg. Don't overreact. A special salute for the truth. Sean Taylor. See, everywhere I go, you know I rep that you. You, you. Orange and green from head to toe, that's you. You, you. What's up, guys? Welcome to NFD TV. Canes are all canes are all day. If you're rocking with the you, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss a video. Guys, sometimes I feel like if it ain't one thing, it's another one. Why can't we just... <sighs> the news of the day is that Christian Williams has entered the transfer portal. Former four-star cornerback, a guy who people were thinking was going to make the step to try to compete for at least playing time this year, is not only is he in the transfer portal, He's not with the program anymore. You know, normally a lot of people think just because you're in a transfer portal, you're gone. But no, the transfer portal means you put your name in there and that allows teams to reach out for you. What Barry Jackson is reporting that is that Christian Williams is not only in the transfer portal, he's not even with the team, which means his name is in the transfer portal and he's through with the squad. He ain't coming back. This is what Barry Jackson tweeted out. I can report that not only is cornerback Christian Williams in the transfer portal, he's no longer with the UM football program. So Kane's down to five scholarship cornerbacks. Five scholarship cornerbacks. This is the beginning of the year. You know, if this happened towards the end of the year, I would say, hey, we just got to make it to the end of the season. We'll be okay. But we're down to five scholarship cornerbacks. I don't want to hear people tell me this doesn't matter because this matters in more than one way, okay? And I haven't even thought about what I really wanted to say in this video, but I'm just going to go off the top of the dome, okay? Reason one why this matter is if you were looking at our team Thursday, what position probably looked the weakest to you? The cornerback. If I'm guessing, I would say, most people would say, what position looked the worst? The cornerbacks. DJ Ivy got beat for a touchdown. Looked like he missed a couple tackles. Got beat on a long pass. <sighs> Al Blaze, he did all right. But you got to remember, guys, when I'm, watching, when I'm watching UAB receivers catch on our guys, I'm not thinking about UAB's guys. I'm thinking about Louisville guys, 2-2 at well defense Patrick. I'm thinking about uh, Jose uh, Ngata for Clemson. I'm thinking about what will those guys do to our DBs if, if UAB's wide receivers are making catches on. So obviously you can say, well, Grant, hey, if it was week one, we're going to improve. Plus we got some young guys like Christian Williams and Corey Couch who could be playing. Well, now you take Christian Williams out. And now it's Corey Couch versus DJ Ivy. Now, I have all the faith in Corey Couch. You can go way back to when we recruited Corey Couch. I did a film breakdown on Corey Couch, and I said, I think this guy is going to be a stud. But losing Christian Williams definitely matters because we're at the beginning of a season where players may have to sit out if they get COVID. Players will have to sit out, of course, if somebody gets injured. If we go down another corner, Lord have mercy. Everybody was everybody was going after, hey, D, DJ Ivy needs to be benched. Well, hey, now you kind of lose a little bit of that luxury. If anything else happens, if another injury happens, if anything happens, we're going to be, we're down to five scholarship cornerbacks. A lot of people say, well, hey, next season we got a couple corners coming in. We're going to be fine. I don't get, I don't care about next year. I'm talking about this year. I won't know what we're going to do this year. <sighs> so when you look at this year, I have, I mean, basically, I think when you just look at this team, our safeties, our front lines, they're going to have to play well to make up for our cornerbacks. I, I think that's how it's going to go out. Now, things may be different. DJ Ivy may may come out and improve. To Corey Couch may be a dog, but I'm just I'm just thinking now. I'm just thinking out loud here, okay? 
our front four is a good front four, I think. And I think the way you can help your secondary out is having a dominant front four. So that's the first thing is this does impact us this year losing Christian Williams because you're down to five scholarship corners. We don't know what could happen with injuries, with, with players getting suspended. Uh, anything could happen. So for this to happen in week one, it definitely matters. Now for those people who want to look into the future, let's talk about it. This is why a lot of the fan base wanted Rump out of here. This is why when you lose recruits in your own backyards, like a Jason Marshall, people are upset. When you can't get the top corners in your own backyard, this is why people are upset. Because when you end up losing Christian Williams, now we're down to five backs. Five cornerbacks. This is why people are upset with Rump. I don't know how Rump survives after this season. I just don't know. When you look at everything from the recruiting, from the play of our our cornerbacks, corners deciding to enter the transfer portal, I don't know how he survives after this year. You tell me. At the beginning of this video, I told myself, num, 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 Grant, don't overreact. And it seems like maybe I could be over. Am I overreacting? What do you think about Rump's job security here? Well, matter of fact, I want to put y'all on the spot. I want y'all to grade Mike Rump's performance. I want I want y'all to let me know am I tripping? Because when I look at recruiting. I look at them, look at these safeties we got coming in. Look at these safeties that we got. And then I look at Rump and say, damn, look at these DBs we be missing out on. Look at these corners we be missing out on. And then I look at the, the play on the field. I would, you know, since this staff has been together, I would say our safety play has been better than our cornerback play. Trajan Bandy digressed last year. Trajan Bandy from freshman year to when he left, he, he did not improve in my book. Now, some people will say we used them wrong. Well, whose fault is that? I I just I, I just want to know am I overreacted? That listen, the big news of the day is Christian Williams, our four-star young defensive back, has entered the transfer portal, has left the school. And I think after this. Mike Rump's job is on the line. What do y'all think? I, am I overreacting? I got to know. Let me know. Hey, I'll be in the comments. I'm refreshing the comments every 10 seconds because I, I want y'all to give me a grade on Mike Rump's job performance. Because I got to know if I'm tripping or not. Let me know in the comment section. I'm out. If you're rocking with the you, then you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button. If it ain't one thing, it's another, man. Can we not just win these games and people just stay at the school and 